Biden orders release of secret 9-11 documents. Washington, D.C., in response to demand from families of some of the approximately 3,000 persons killed, U.S. President Joe Biden ordered the declassification of confidential papers from the official inquiry into the 9-11 terrorist attacks. President Joe Biden ordered the declassification of still secret papers from the government's investigation into the 9-11 terrorist attacks over the next six months on Friday. Families of some of the approximately 3,000 persons slain by Al-Qaeda on September 11, 2001, have pressed Biden to act. They've long claimed that the classified documents could provide evidence that Saudi Arabia's government, a close U.S. ally, had ties to the hijackers who flew into the World Trade Center and Pentagon. I signed an executive order today directing the Department of Justice and other relevant agencies to oversee a declassification review of records relating to the FBI's September 11 investigations. Biden said in a statement, Over the next six months, declassification is required. We must never forget the sorrow that the families and loved ones of the 2,977 innocent souls killed in America's worst terrorist attack in history have endured. Biden said. The announcement comes only days before the 20th anniversary of the attack, which prompted then-President George W. Bush to launch the invasion of Afghanistan, where the Taliban had been sheltering al-Qaeda's leader bin Laden. This week, Biden withdrew the final U.S. troops from Afghanistan, completing a dramatic evacuation from Kabul's airport after the Taliban ousted the U.S.-backed government and reclaimed power. Victims' families are pushing for additional information because they are suing Saudi Arabia for their culpability in the horrible attack. The families have long expressed their dissatisfaction with the large amount of documents that are still unavailable. The official 9-11 Commission, which was set up by Congress, said there was no evidence that the Saudi government as an institution or senior Saudi officials individually funded al-Qaeda. Some have taken this statement as implying that unofficial or lower-ranking Saudi officials were involved. Some of the investigation may still be deemed too sensitive to release. Biden stated in an executive order that the activities in question occurred two decades ago or more, and they concern a tragic moment that continues to reverberate in American history. It is thus vital to guarantee that the U.S. government maximizes transparency, unless the strongest conceivable reasons dictate differently. The truth will one day be revealed, certainly not today.